Hello and welcome to the course of Computer Network. Today we are going to discuss about Selective Repeat Protocol which is again a pipeline based reliable data transfer protocol works for transport layer. Unlike uh, Gobek N protocol, this Selective Repeat Protocol has uh, window size available at the receiving side. Uh, due to that, uh, that uh, size availability at the receiving side, this particular protocol receives out of order uh, packets as well. So let's see how it receives the packet uh, at the receiving side. Here you see a uh, selective repeat protocol in which uh, due to the availability of uh, window size at the receiving side, uh, receiving side uh, has to acknowledge all the correctly received packet because uh, window size is available at the receiving side and uh, receiver can receive out of order uh, packets as well and uh, as far as uh, sender is concerned uh, of selective repeat protocol sending side has to uh, retransmit only those packets which are not acknowledged uh, and uh, timeout uh, occurs for them then only uh, sending side has to retransmit only those packets unlike go back in uh, uh, as uh, we have already discussed go back n protocol in our last lecture and in go back n we saw that uh, if timeout happens for a particular packet in uh, go back n uh, sending side uh, then go back n sender has to retransmit all the packets from that packet onwards so that is the main disadvantage of go back n uh, which is uh, which is being removed uh, uh, by this selective repeat protocol and this happens only because of this uh, window size available at the uh, receiving side now in this particular uh, slide we see uh, both uh, the sending side and receiving side of selective repeat protocol uh, sending side is uh, very much similar of our go back n protocol or go back n sending side but uh, there is a difference in the uh, receiving side because in selective uh, repeat protocol uh, window size is available at the receiving side as well and it is uh, same as the sending side and uh, you can see uh, these gray packets are those packets uh, which can be received but uh, they are not received yet these pink packets are those packets which are received by the receiving side and uh, they are acknowledged as well and these blue packets are those packets which can be uh, accepted from the sending side uh, because uh, these packets are available inside this particular window here you can see this this uh, receiving side uh, has received out of order data because the first packet which can be received is yet to be received and these two packets are already received by the receiving side again the next packet is not yet received and after this particular packet uh, this pink one is already received and acknowledged so uh, that is how this receiving side works in uh, selective repeat protocol and due to this uh, out of order receiving capability in uh, uh, selective repeat uh, receivers side uh, there is no uh, concept of uh, cumulative acknowledgement uh, because window size is available at the uh, receiving side uh, due to which this particular protocol can receive out of order data so uh, in selective repeat protocol uh, we uh, cannot use the concept of uh, cumulative acknowledgement and uh, one more thing which i need to uh, say about this particular protocol is sending side uh, has to retransmit only those packets which are not acknowledged by the uh, receiving side to the sending side unlike go back n and here uh, we see uh, selective repeat protocol in action uh, this is the sending side and this is the receiving side and this time we have a uh, uh, window size available at the receiving side and let's let's uh, assume that the window size uh, at both the sides sending and receiver, receiving side uh, is uh, 4 that means uh, there can be 4 packets at a time inside a window so here uh, we start our protocol 
these are the sequence number which are used 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and you have 0 1 2 3 packets are available at the sending side and these packets are sent from the sending side here you can see 0 1 2 and 3 these uh, all packets are sent from the sending side sequentially uh, packet number 0 is received acknowledgement is sent from the receiving side packet number 1 is received acknowledgement is sent uh, from the receiving side packet number 2 is lost somewhere in between uh, and it is not received by the receiving side uh, but packet number 3 is received by the receiving side and this particular pack, uh, packet is uh, buffered and acknowledged as well unlike go back in because uh, if you uh, go back and see the go back in protocol go back in uh, protocol uh, doesn't receive out of order data uh, but this particular protocol uh, has received packet number 3 uh, without receiving packet number 2 and acknowledged as well so this is a very simple uh, protocol and uh, due to the availability of uh, receiver side uh, window this particular protocol can receive out of order data and here you can see uh, once uh, timeout happens for packet number 2 at this particular moment uh, only uh, packet number 2 is retransmitted uh, from the sending side to the receiving side. Uh, unlike go back n in go back n uh, uh, sending side has to retransmit all the packets from this packet onwards because sending side um, in go back n uh, knows about that the uh, receiving uh, window is not available uh, at the receiving side and receiver can receive uh, in order data so after this particular uh, packet uh, none of the packet uh, must have received uh, by the receiving side. So uh, that is how our selective repeat protocol works. There is no concept of uh, cumulative acknowledgement. There is no concept of ordered, uh, receive, uh, ordered uh, receiving of data. And uh, uh, the advantages of this particular protocol is this particular protocol receives out of order data and uh, sending side has to uh, acknowledge all the packets individually which are uh, sorry uh, receiving side uh, has to acknowledge all the packets which are received properly by this particular protocol. Uh, now there is a problem with this uh, particular protocol as, as we know uh, that uh, if you have uh, something uh, pros and cons are always there so uh, this is uh, case uh, case number one uh, with the uh, example a it's it's a normal functioning of uh, selective repeat protocol in which uh, you can see window size is three at both the sides and sequence number uh, numbers are used zero one two three here you can see uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, 0, 1, 2 packets are sent from the sending side and these are uh, properly received by the receiver and uh, you can see the receiver um, has uh, shifted its window after receiving a particular packet. Here uh, uh, 0 is received then uh, receiver uh, shifts its window towards its right then after receiving packet number 1 it uh, again shifts its window towards its right and uh, after um, receiving packet number 2 again it shifts its packet uh, its uh, window towards its uh, right and uh, packet number 3 is uh, lost somewhere by the time uh, acknowledgement of uh, packet number 0 is received by the uh, sending side and again this particular product uh, this particular side also shifts its window towards its right so uh, that is how it happens and it's a normal working of selective repeat protocol but here uh, um, comes the problem or dilemma of selective repeat protocol here you can see in uh, case number uh, B sending uh, side has three window size and receiving side is also having uh, window size three after sending all the 
packets available in this particular window from the sending side 0 1 2 3 here you can see all the packets are sent from the sending side and these packets are received by the receiving side and now at the receiving side uh, again you have uh, three packets available which you can receive packet number three packet number zero and packet number one but unfortunately acknowledgements of packet number zero one and two are lost somewhere in between and uh, at the sending side when timeout happens uh, for packet number 0, 1 and 2 uh, this particular uh, sending side will remain as it is this uh, side will not uh, ship its window uh, because of the un un unacknowledged acknowledged packets which you can see over here still uh, with uh, this particular uh, Mm, sequence numbers 0 1 and 2 when timeout happens uh, sending side will retransmit all these uh, packets sequentially as you can see packet number 0 is retransmitted again over here now here comes the dilemma what happens because uh, packet number 0 is available in this particular window but this packet is the next packet this packet is not this particular packet which you can see over here but sequence number is same so receiving side will receive this particular packet or receiving side will consider this particular packet as a re redundant packet or retransmitted packet which this particular side is not supposed to receive so that happens because there is a curtain in between sending side and receiving side receiving side uh, doesn't see the uh, sending side so that is uh, why this this happens and if this zero packet is retransmitted uh, uh, to the uh, sending side sending side will surely receive this particular packet because this particular packet is uh, ready to get received in the receiving uh, sites window which you can see but at the receiving side this is the next packet but from the sending side this is the same packet which uh, receiving side has already received so this particular packet will be considered as a new packet at the receiving side but uh, sending side uh, is sending this packet again because of these uh, uh, unacknowledged packets so uh, there is a criteria to select window size uh, in selective repeat protocol and that criteria is window size should be uh, less than or equal to half the sequence number in uh, uh, selective repeat protocol. This is to avoid packets being uh, recognized incorrectly. If the window size is greater than half the sequence number space, then if an acknowledgement is lost, the sender may send new packets that the receiver believes are retransmitted so uh, this problem is uh, this problem can be removed from the uh, uh, selective repeat protocol if we take proper size uh, of the uh, window uh, which are available at both the ends and it should always be less than or equal to half the sequence number in selective repeat protocol uh, so uh, that is how selective repeat protocol works and uh, uh, I'll, I'll show you uh, the animations of uh, selective repeat and go back in protocol to make you understand these two protocols more clearly. So uh, here you can see uh, this particular uh, uh, side from which you can uh, play uh, these two animations. First one is for go back in and the other one is for selective repeat. So first of all, we'll see how go back in works. And these are some tabs uh, you can play with. Uh, you can vary your end-to-end -end delay. You can you can uh, increase or decrease your window size. You can increase or decrease your timeout. Uh, you can increase or decrease your number of packets emitted per second. And uh, here you can see uh, these are the two sides 
uh, this is the sending side and this is the receiving side and as you can see uh, as you can see this this particular protocol is configured for uh, go back in so you have window size available at the sending side uh, and the window size is 5 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 but you do not find uh, uh, window at the receiving side because uh, at the receiving side a window size is one only one packet is expected at at a time and uh, this is the tab uh, uh, you can start your uh, protocol uh, from so here we start with protocol go back and first so you start over here and you can see uh, at the sending side uh, packets are uh, sent sequentially and once uh, these packets are acknowledged this sending side window is shifting towards its right and you can see uh, over here that if you you can see the fund of cumulative acknowledgement these three acknowledgements are uh, deleted but once uh, the acknowledgement cumulative acknowledgement of uh, packet is received sending side will understand that uh, due to the unavailability of window size available uh, uh, at the uh, receiving side uh, receiver can receive uh, data in an ordered way so cumulative acknowledgement uh, can work in this particular protocol you can again see this experiment you can delete this these acknowledgements but this acknowledgement will shift the complete window so that is how cumulative acknowledgement uh, works in uh, uh, go back end protocol and now i'll show you how uh, data is uh, received in ordered way these two packets will not be received Okay. Once timeout happens, these all packets will be retransmitted again. So if I delete this this particular packet again, these packets will not be received. When uh, timeout happens, then all the packets will be retransmitted again. If you can see over here, if you delete this packet, these packets will not be received in a out of order way because this particular packet is expected at a time. This particular packet. Once you receive this packet. Uh, that is how uh, packets are received in order uh, ordered way in uh, uh, go back end protocol and uh, uh, the fund of cumulative acknowledgement you can see so that is how this this particular protocol works uh, you can play uh, uh, with these parameters and uh, you can uh, see how this particular protocol works now we'll see the con we'll stop first of all we'll stop this particular protocol and uh, uh, we will switch to the next protocol, uh, a, a next uh, pipeline protocol with the name selective repeat and uh, you can see when you select selective repeat same window size is available at the receiving site as well and uh, there is no funda of concept of uh, cumulative acknowledgement at uh, in at uh, uh, selective re repeat uh, receiving side because uh, receiving side can receive out of order data which you will see shortly and sending side will retransmit only those packets uh, which are not acknowledged by the receiving side unlike go back n in go back n you have to retransmit all the packets from the unacknowledged packet onwards. So here you see the beauty of this particular protocol. If you first of all uh, you see how it, it works then I will try to delete the packets and acknowledgements. All the individual packets uh, have their uh, timers uh, at the sending side and uh, in this particular protocol you have to individually uh, acknowledgement uh, individually acknowledge the packets 
at the uh, sending side so if i delete this acknowledgement this packet uh, this window will not slide I'll, I'll delete this particular again timeout happens and this window will not start this particular sending side will stop here again if I delete this once again it will uh, stay at this particular position because window slides only when uh, packets are acknowledged sequentially so that happens and uh, now I'll uh, let the acknowledgement uh, reach at the receiving side this complete window is uh, uh, shifted towards its right now you can see the out of order receiving of data here you can see this packet is yet to be received and these are already received packets so that is how it receives out of order data I'll remove this and I'll remove this. This is received out of order. This is out uh, receiving of out of order data. So that is how it, it uh, receives out of order data in selective repeat protocol. And there's no funda of cumulative acknowledgement. Receiving side has to acknowledge all the correctly received packet properly. And sending side will retransmit only those packets uh, which are not acknowledged uh, by the receiving side due to uh, any reason so here you can see the animation of selective repeat protocol and uh, you can play with the uh, with these parameters and you can uh, see how these two protocol uh, works with uh, with the animation so that is how selective repeat and go back and protocols uh, work I hope you understand the complete process of go back end and selective repeat protocol. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next lecture.